This is going to be your one-stop guide to get you up and going to play Modern Warfare 2 on the H2M mod. Everything in this video will get you playing soon, and every link I mentioned will be in the description as well. This will also allow you to have the custom server browser so you can see everything without having to look it up. So this is very helpful. To get started, I'm going to link a couple things down in the description, a couple of discords. I'm going to link my discord and the H2M revive discord down below. That's where you're going to get the links to download everything. So once you get the H2M Revive Discord in it, you're going to go down to the download section over here to the left, and you have a couple options. You have an all-in-one, which includes everything. Otherwise, if you have the game already, you, all you have to do is have the H2M mod. So you'll click on that link right here, either one of these, and also the um, Server Browser Fixer plus FPS Unlocker. So you'll click on that Go File as well, or whichever one you prefer. I the go files so i'll click on the go files for both of them which i already had pulled up so then once you click the h2m you're just going to go over here to the download section you're going to download it and you're going to drag it to the desktop screen same with the cod fixer server browser everything for that you're going to download either which one of you want i did the v2 for the raw you are going to need the 7 zip so you're going to have to extract it that way otherwise you can do the 7 zip folder as well and once you have everything, you're going to get the zip folder and you're going to get this folder over here. Uh, I already extracted this one and I extracted this one as well. But you're going to get these two folders here. And this brings, once you zip this one, so you're going to right click it, extract all, or however you want to do it. You can do seven zip and extract two. Uh, you're going to get inside the folder, you're going to get these two folders here that I brought to the desktop there. So you got the H2M, which is this one here. And then the H2M with the big thing, which is you open up again and you get the H2M, which is this. So you have everything there. Once that's done and you have them folders on your desktop, it makes things so much easier. You're gonna open the H2M folder and the H2M file folder. You're gonna just kind of drag it to your side of the screen for a second so you can make this understand easier. Uh, you're going to go to your Steam or have you have it downloaded and you're going to find the folder for that. So you can easily get to it for from Steam at least. You right click the game and you go to properties or no, sorry, manage. And you go to browse local files. So you have that there. And all you want to do is you have the English folder at the top for your modern refer, uh, remaster. You're going to drag all these folders right here from the H2M file folder into this just on the side you just copy it to your modern Warfare remaster folder and then i'm not going to do it right now because i already have them folders um but you'll get everything there then after that you're going to go to the h2m folder um and you're going to drag everything here into this as well to the modern Warfare remaster folder you're then you're gonna have everything here. If you scroll down, you're gonna find that same extreme mod.exe now in here. So that's how you're gonna launch the game. Now you can create a shortcut easily, like I did to have this on your desktop. So you can just launch it from your desktop instead of going to this folder every single time. So you're gonna right click that, you're gonna click new, and you're gonna create a shortcut. And from here, you're gonna go back to your modern fur, you're gonna copy this. And then you're just going to paste that in here, which will bring up everything you need. You click next. You can name it whatever. I just named it H2M, I believe, right here. Yeah, I just named it H2M, but I'll name it H2M Mod EXE. And you get the same folder here. So I'm going to delete that now since I already have that desktop shortcut. Now your last thing, so you can launch the game, but you're not going to have these server browsers up and available right now. To, you can easily get that from the COG server fix plus V2 or the other one. Um, and you're going to have three things in here. So you're going to have the favorite JSON, run me as admin, which I believe is the FPS fixer. So you just kind of run that. You click it, you let it go. And then you get the favorite JSON. And you go back to your Call of Duty folder. You're going to go to your players 2 now. You're going to just drag and drop that favorite Jack Jason into your favorites. Uh, I, just gonna, I don't know if you have the favorites already or not. I don't think you do if you don't have that already. But you're going to just drag and drop it into there. And then 
you have the Silver Browser Fixer. So I'll show you how to use that real fast as well. So you're just going to run the game. It is going to pull up. It's going to run the H2M. It's going to pull up like a command prompt for you. You don't do anything with it. You just let it do its own thing, which is this right here. Once your game loads up, um, you guys could click on the play online. You're going to let that load up. You're going to have all this here. You click the find match and it's going to be blank. So nothing's going to pop up for you. You go down to your bottom right and you're going to click on filter servers and you click on filter servers or, um, or surf by favorites down at the bottom and you're going to be able to find it's going to pop up all these servers for you. And you can just go by and click on each one and you just click on each game that you want to join so you got to find an open lobby that has players in it and you just click on it and it brings you into the game and you can start playing immediately sometimes you're going to get that server is full error message that just means you got to find a new server it can take a minute <laughs> because everything's this is such a busy time right now but you can definitely get into the game now you are gonna need to download the box player maps for like the cam uh, not campaign, but for the DLC to play on all the maps. But this is it right here. As you can see, I am playing now and.